All the questions, I realize. Good, I am enjoying my silence. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that my notes are also around. See, look, when I joined here, and I want to make it very vocal. When I joined here, and when I had a interview, I was interviewed by the management. I was very clear about that. Are they bringing me here for a vision? Because vision elevates the nation. And what we are talking about is right now, we are trying to, trying to build a story of a cricket nation. In that regards, I am pretty satisfied with the way we have managed this process. This was the best West Indies A team which we could have got after so much of negotiation of communication with them. And when, you, when we left from here, we told you all that there will be a surprise for you also. To have that series out here is very satisfying. Uh, so, in these three games, we have tried to be very even. We want to make sure that opportunities are given so that players also understand from their perspective where they stand, what are the areas they need to keep improving. More importantly, I would say handling pressure. You know, because uh, yes, I mean, we have to accept that there is a selection process also in place. But at the same time, how much you can handle pressure and deep dive into your role on that day, be present to your role and execute your role. So, in that regards, I think we are very clear uh, whatever we did was in the, with the right intentions. And like Rohit said, that we are also very clear about uh, our 15 players that are supposed to travel to World Cup. I mean, we still have a meeting to do properly in a formal way. And by evening, all that will be sorted. From getting 20 players, how many trips back to cricket and the minor squad, how easy has it been to uh, coordinate with the management and the board? <laughs> uh, look, I, I'm, I'm a little more. Realistic person, practical person, I understand that when 2023 we punched above the weight and we, I think we went above the expectations, as soon as you do that, the expectations go higher, you know, so to meet the expectation is where I think there are always the challenges and I would say that it's not only here, it's anywhere else, so you have to sit with the, you have to sit with the stakeholders, with the management and rationalize the journey and in that I have got support. So that is where we were able to bring all four reserves as well and 20 players together, which was a good eye-opener. Like I said, from day one we are learning. So 20 players brought in and given, uh, having given them opportunities has helped us to make sure that we, whatever we were thinking is the right thought process towards World Cup. So now that the selection is complete, it will be complete in few minutes, so a few hours. So with the last two games, will we file out? Yes, yes. The thought process will be now to understand what has uh, been the kind of skill competition here. If you see that they brought in extra spinner, uh, and uh, I think Hayden Walsh as a leg spinner did very well today. He was able to control the pace of the ball, able to put, put, put the ball in the right area. So it was not easy to hit him. Uh, and uh, that is, of course, also an area that we want to keep getting better at. In, with the resources that we have at present, in that we have tried to groom Bhuri also to become our option for leg spin. So, taking all that into account, yes, uh, we will sit again on that too. In a couple of hours, once 15 players of our World Cup squad are announced, we will then tactically think towards our best 11 for tomorrow's game. Alright, thank you very much.